Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House. If you're considering using a ram pump to pump water off grid without fuel or electricity, but you're not sure if your small to medium sized creek is enough to operate a pump, I've decided to come out here to my local park and do a site assessment for you to kind of give you an idea of what's required to run a pump. So let's head down here to the creek real quick and we will check out the waterway. One of the first things I like to consider is the volume and flow rate of the creek. This one has quite a good bit of water in it. Just judging it eyeball, I'm gonna say between uh, two and 300 gallons a minute. So uh, quite a good bit of water flowing through here. And as you can see, it's moving pretty quick. So that is important. On the half inch ram pump, which I'll be testing out today, it only needs two gallons per minute to operate. So as far as assessing this waterway, plenty of water here. That brings up one uh, little point, uh, flooding. If you know that you have a lot of water coming down the mountain, then you may want to consider uh, placement of the pump for flooding issues. The next thing that we need to understand is head pressure. And that's the drop in elevation from where your intake is gonna be down to where the pump will be. And I'm gonna be using a garden hose to measure this drop in head pressure, basically using a water level. So let's do that now. I've got a regular garden hose here. It's about 50 foot long. I'm gonna be placing one end up the creek and then one down and let the water flow through. And then I'll be able to lift the lower end up and determine how high it is from the water level to where the water stops coming out of the hose. I have the hose laying in the creek fully, and you can see water is coming out this other end. So I'm just going to lift this up to the point where this water stops flowing. So it's still flowing there. And we've stopped right at this point. Now you can take a tape measure here and measure the height from the water to the top of the hose here and that would give you the head pressure. But from looking at it, just eyeballing on this application, I've got about two feet here. After you know your head pressure, it's important to know how high you're gonna be lifting water. For this application, I'm just gonna go from the creek up out of the water and just attach to this fence. The ram pump operates on a one to seven ratio, typically. For every one foot of head pressure, you get seven feet of lift out. Now, if you need to know more about back pressure, I have a video on that link in the description down below. I'm gonna be using PVC as my drive pipe, and I only have 25 feet of it here. I highly recommend that you use 25 feet or more for the ram pump, as it will allow the cycle time to be slower and provide more pressure. My intake is just a PVC pipe in the water, now for a install that's gonna be permanent, you would definitely want to have a screen over that intake just to prevent rocks and sand from getting into that pipe. So 25 feet later, let me show you the amount of water that is coming out of this pipe. And we can also lift this up to show the head pressure we're going to be working with. So you can see the amount of flow that's coming out and our head pressure right around there looks like a foot now this is a bare minimum for getting the pump to start I'm gonna unscrew the union here that has a ball valve on it and that way I can attach this to the other end of the pipe now ram pumps that you can buy at landahouse.com have threaded ends on the ball valves and that just really helps you to close the valve off and stop the water if you need to now I'm just going to reattach the pump to that valve with the union here. Notice how water pours out of the waste valve, but it never closes. That's because there's not enough head pressure in this short 25 foot section of the creek. 
What I'm gonna do is move up to this other waterfall right here, and that should supply enough drop to get the pump going. Increasing the head pressure by just a couple of inches has given this pump enough to operate. When I open the drive pipe valve, I can then push this check valve and the water pressure will close the valve. After it closes for a while, it will build enough pressure in the tank that I'll be able to pump water uphill. Now it's time to install the delivery pipe, which will go out of the creek, up the hill. I'm just gonna use a garden hose for this. Now, whenever I open this delivery pipe valve, the pump is going to stop. Okay, the reason for that is because pressure has been lost in the tank and there's no back pressure pushing down on the valve. To remedy that, I need to build back pressure in my delivery pipe. So I'm just gonna push this valve several times until it fills my pipe full of water. And the pump is now running with the delivery pipe open and the pipe installed. Comes up this little tiny hill and over to my fence. Now is a good time to talk about the ratio of head pressure to lift. So as you've got about one and a half feet coming down to the pump, and we've got somewhere around six feet of lift out here, which means we should be able to get some water output there. It just may take a while. Now, if I were to increase the head pressure from one and a half feet by extending the drive pipe way down to the other end of the creek, I'd say I had uh, two and a half to three feet of head pressure, we would get a lot more volume out of the top. But there is a point where if you have too much head pressure, you're going to run into back pressure issues where more pressure is being built at the pump than the delivery pipe can push back down. And so the pump will stop. Keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out the volume you want at the top. Just noticed that water has started to flow out of the delivery pipe here. And as you can see, that is not much water. Somewhere around probably a quarter gallon in, uh, in an hour. <laughs> but it is definitely a proof of concept. We're taking water from right down there, bringing it even further down, and yet bringing it six feet out of the creek to this point over here. I hope this small to medium sized creek assessment has helped. I'm going to be making a few more of these to kind of get different ideas on setups that may affect your creek. So I think in the next video I will be installing a much longer drive pipe on a different creek to show you the difference in the amount of water out. Thank you so much for watching this ram pump video if you found it helpful please hit that thumbs up and be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell i have close to 100 videos on the ram pump now here on land house and do remember i have four different sizes available for sale at uh, both landhouse.com and on amazon i'll have both of those links in the description down below thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye